Hi. Simon. Yeah. What's up? I'm calling you to let you know that we got the answer. For real? Yep. And what did they say? The boat refused. Oh, no. no that's right. Oh, man. Too bad. What reason? Well, not enough money and unknown director. Unknown director? Oh, man. That's what I've... Uh, that's what I've heard. No. Yeah. Uh, man, what are we going to do? Well, what do you think we're going to do? Oh, I don't know, man. It's your movie. You call shots. Well, we have two options left. Either we go back to our alien short films we were supposed to make. We have fun with that all summer long. We do that or we, well, we make it happen anyway. Uh, what do you mean? We make it happen anyway. I don't get it. We can play the leads. We? Who we? You and I can play the leads. Not serious. Why not? I mean, nobody knows who we are. Hey man, we've been waiting for those roles for 10 years, and now we were ready to give them away to those suckers who can't even appreciate a good script? Come on. Oh man, I know, but nobody knows who we are. It won't work. I know, but everybody wants new faces. We'll be those new faces. How are you going to sell the movie? Well, I was thinking of adding a new scene at the very beginning. What type of scene? You and I running in the forest like crazy with a very dramatic music. We'll have some big close-ups of our faces and everybody will buy us from the very beginning. Then they'll be able to wait 20, 25 minutes to the next action scenes to come. We'll have them in our back pocket. It doesn't sound serious, man. Come on. I don't think it's gonna work. Anyway, we're better suited for the roles than they were. Yeah, maybe, but it would have been cool to have our big guys out in our I know, movie. but we only wanted them because they were bankable. I'm not even sure they still are bankable. If anything, we could have relaunched their dying career. Yeah, but can you imagine what it would have been with him? In our movie. Fuck our big Kaital. Give me a week to think about okay. it. Okay. I don't know what will be the selling point of that movie. Well, we have some kick ass scene in the movie, man. We'll be the second new wave, man. Forget about it. We'll be a fucking tsunami. <laughs> You're crazy. We'll rock the entire planet with our kick-ass scenes and our movie. With some cool rock and roll music, throw that in the mix, man. Everybody will run to see our movie to the theater. I'm telling you, we're the next big thing, okay? Oh, baby, what do you think about it? Okay. people I know here. Ain't that amazing how cool it is to shoot films today? I'm sure there's a way to come up with something which uh, will be even more natural than what we've ever seen so far. And, um, it's just the beginning. Some people have asked me some updates. Well, here they are. If you remember correctly, last April, I told everybody that I was going to make my first feature film called Medium Brown 35. Well, it didn't happen this summer. The reason is because my partner and I came on a disagreement and we went our own separate ways, putting an end to our 10-year partnership together. The only thing is he went away with the car. So I had to replace the car, replace him, couldn't make it on time, decided to postpone to 2017. I've also decided that I was not going to comment on the subject because I'm sure he has his own opinion about it. I have mine. The only thing I will say is I wish he would have done it before I committed myself entirely to that, before I had quit my day job and told everybody that I was going to make my first feature film. Because usually when I say something, I deliver. 
most of the time when you make movies, you need to rely on some of the people. And when somebody else pulled the plug on you, you become the victim. Now I look forward to the future. I'm going to try to surround myself with better people this time because I have a lot of great stories to tell and I can't wait to share them with you. But there's a good news. Another friend of mine is shooting his feature film this summer. And he's asked me to be the assistant director on his movie. So I'm gonna be working there for a month and a half on his feature film. I'm very thrilled about it. Man, that was a run. Gotta go check out for, for some gear for vlogging. So I got a few things I gotta check out. I'm gonna show you what I wanna buy. One hour left before it closes. So still 30 minutes left. There's nothing worse than shooting an entire segment with no sound. Lesson number two. What I was trying to say inside is that I fell in love with the Canon 70D. In fact, it's the EDD that I want, but it was not possible to try it because for some reasons, my little card was not working in the EDD, only in the 70D. So I've tried it with the lens that I want, the 10 to 22, and I totally fell in love. That's where it's all gonna happen. Okay, let's go. Take number one. Three minutes away to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to tonight. I think I'm gonna fall in love with this setup very, very fast. It's, um, it's pretty nice. Cut. Good. Can we do that again, please? Don't get me wrong. I love Harvey Keitel.